So a couple other things to appreciate about, appreciate about grief. And I, you know, I'm a physician, right? And so I work within the medical model, but I, I'm a big fan of you know, straddling to the world outside of the medical model. But I have some real respect for it too. And one of the things that we'll learn from social, from psychology and from, uh, from mental health, uh, but also from medical, from the medical world, there's, we grieve in anticipation of loss even. So one of the things that's been very helpful for me to talk with families about is just to note, like I'll talk to a couple and they're talking about preparing for one of their, the eventual death of someone who's dealing with a diagnosis. And they'll note a real moodiness and a difficulty dealing with daily life. And, you know, it's most of the time folks don't realize that they're already in grief because the loss ostensibly hasn't happened yet. But really the loss begins a moment we can conceive of it. And there are other active losses. Even after the time of a diagnosis, your roles may change, your identity may change. And even though you're not dead, you may have had to, a, a part of you has maybe gone. And so there's real grief just at the time of diagnosis, even before the loss. And the phrase we use for this is anticipatory grief. And I think it's a really important thing to understand so you can sense of what's going on in you. Because otherwise it's like, what's wrong with me? My husband's still here. Why am I so sad that he's gonna die? He's still here, I'm not enjoying him. Why? Well, that's anticipatory grief and it's totally normal. Mm -hmm.